Good morning and welcome back to another episode of... It's totally the afternoon. It's totally... Can we call it an episode? Yes. <laughs> These are now officially episodes. We've got Mac here and we also have Fancy, uh, his full sister. We're going to do some more dummy launcher work. This will be an interesting game because we have two young puppies, but it's going to allow us to work on both competition as well as continuing to do some more retrieves. And we have to evaluate how this is going to go, but I would expect there will be some playing, there will be some trying to steal the bumpers from the other, and this is a really good way for us to work them through this stage now, because it's not fun for, um, for a dog to try and steal birds or to steal bumpers as they get older. So we're going to start working through this as they are puppies still. I've got Jess with me here. She's going to help handle Fancy, and I will be handling Mac. Good. So we're going to do this the same way that we did before. Once the puppies stop and stand there, we need to bring Mac back over here. But once they stop and stand there, we'll shoot the bumper for them and then work through the retreat. So I'm going to bring Mac back over here. We hit vibrate on the collar. Good. Fancy is ready. All right. Both dogs standing. We're going to throw a little whoop. Whoa. Whoop. Scoot the bumper for me. So Fancy's got it. I'm going to go ahead and handle Mac back to me while Jess handles Fancy to her. Mac. 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 distraction that we haven't got to see with him yet. He was focused on her, he was focused on the bumper, and we got to work through that by calling him back just by holding the vibrate down, continuing to call his name, and, and work through that level of distraction. We're going to go again. As soon as they stop up here, we'll get their attention. Fancy. understand that not all training sessions go exactly how you plan them to go and sometimes you have to work through stuff. Maybe running two little puppies together wasn't the greatest idea in the world but um, we're going to be able to work through this and they'll be better for it in the end. I'm running vibrate on the collar and here they come. Good. Ready? Ready? on the last couple. What we'll have here is Fancy is going to get held back a little bit. We want there to be competition and it's okay for him to lose a couple times, but he's young enough that we don't want him to lose every time. So we're going to give him the opportunity to get this one. Um, releasing Fancy partway through so there's still a little bit of that competition and drive for him, but he should get to the bumper first. And I just wanted to point out how Jess was handling Fancy there having her swing into that healing position and holding on to her collar strap so she stayed in that position as well as allowing Fancy to continue holding that bumper uh, is a really great way to condition that natural hold and that natural retrieve that we, we all like to see in our dogs. Absolutely, absolutely. The more we can condition at this stage in the game, the better and easier life is gonna be as they get older. 
So, you're going to hold her until he's about half to three quarters of the way out there and then let her go. Okay. Got her? Yep. Ready? Back pumped up. She's ready to go. Whoa. Oh! Now that one bounced and rolled a lot. It ended up short marking it. This will be good. Another good example for him to be able to extend that mark, hopefully. Maybe not. Go back and look. There you go. Good. If they give up or they quit early and they don't find it, then we'll just end up helping them. We'll start walking that direction, work them downwind of the bumper. And... Which this is a really nice situation because um, the wind is right in their faces right now. So that helps them use their noses when they're uh, looking for those bumpers. And they don't have to work past it. And to help them out, we're just going to keep walking that direction, which is going to allow them to push that mark out farther, and they're going to expand their search a little bit more. We had a question um, from Kirsten asking, are the bumpers scented with anything or just the smell of the bumper? Yeah. They are not scented with anything other than a little bit of dog slobber from yes. multiple retrieves. Yeah. And it does have a little bit, probably gunpowder residue and smell on it from the blanks um, that we shoot the launcher with. Yes, yeah, so if we were to add scent to these bumpers, and that's a great question, all it's going to smell like is pheasant scent and dog slobber so it's not really going to be overly beneficial in helping them to recognize those different smells from different birds in my opinion um, this does have a very strong smell of dog slobber and they learn that and they're using their nose to find a scent uh, will allow birds themselves to hold that natural scent and allow them to learn that rather than a manufactured scent that would smell like pheasants or ducks or whatever so we're gonna shoot another one, try and make sure that Mac gets this one. Matthew, just hold on to Fancy so that we can help him be successful. He is peeing, so we're gonna give him a quick little potty break. And he's done. We've got his focus again. had to go try and show off to Fancy that he got one this time, but then we just used the collar to continue vibrating him on the recall back. Let's go ahead and shoot another one for both of them. We'll do probably a couple more here, and then we'll call this a good training session. We got to see several different things from working through puppy playing to helping a dog that's maybe going to get beat by your older dog if you're working a puppy and an older dog together or two puppies that one just outperforms the other right now a little bit. And it also had the opportunity to show how to help them with missed marks or extending their marks a little bit.
So the bumper fell just over a little rise. So they're trying to help the puppies work over that rise and then get back downwind of the bumper so that they can use their noses to help find that retrieve. You could see them turn when they caught scent to work in to get that retrieve. And whoop, and Mac stole it from Fancy. Perfect. So there was a little bit of stealing the bumper and some uh, chase and trying to play keep away happening. So each of them just called their puppy to them, one with the bumper and one that did not get the bumper retrieved this time. I'll try and shoot one more and see if we can get a little more, a little more successful. Not that that's a bad situation for them to learn, but uh, we'll try and put it all together in one scenario. Ethan's just trying to get them so that he's not shooting the bumper launcher over them. That would be a little easier for both of them. That's right where it hit the ground. Track it out. Good. Oh. And a fumble recovered by Mac. Back. 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 Good. Good. Okay. So on that last launch, uh, Ethan repositioned the puppies so that he wasn't shooting the bumper over top of them so they both had the opportunity to mark a little bit better on that. And then there was a little bit of playing and bumping and dropping the bumper and handing it off. We will probably do their next sessions individually, so there's a little less playing, but this was definitely a good learning experience to be able to work through some new things and um, help to extend marks and build stronger retrievers. Stay tuned and uh, we, will, we will be back with you with our next episode.